Hey hey, it's Katie here. So as you might have noticed, we have a pretty small YouTube channel. And last week, YouTube introduced a new policy that changed its YouTube partner program that directly affects small YouTube channels like us. So today, we're gonna talk about that. But first, let's go for lunch. So we are walking into the shopping mall now. We have a Lotte shopping mall just outside our apartment, which is really convenient. Um, we don't tend to use it for actual shopping though. We go down to the basement and use the food court. So they have a supermarket in there, uh, which is great if we <laughs> run out of pasta or bits and bobs like that. But we also use it for the restaurants they have down there. So we're gonna go and get some lunch. And I think I'm gonna go get like a, a fruit juice drink or something like that. So that should be fun, we'll see. We are back in our apartment and today we're going to talk to you about the changes of the YouTube Partner Programme from our perspective as a small channel who is just starting out. Philip DeFranco, Katie Neistat, Peter McKinnon have all given their takes on what they think of the changes and how they think it will affect YouTube creators and the community. The links are in the description below, it is worth a watch. So here's what happened. In April 2017, YouTube changed their partner program so that YouTubers who wanted to monetize their videos had to have 10,000 views or more. However, last week, they decided to change their program again. Now you need 4,000 watch hours within 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. To put that in perspective, you would need 24,000 people to watch your 10 minute video from start to finish. Now remember that most people do not watch the whole video from start to finish, so that number might be much higher. So how does this affect us? I'll be honest, we were considering quitting YouTube because these goals seem crazy to us right now and they can be really demotivating. However, we also remembered why we decided to set up a travel blog and a YouTube channel in the first place. We wanted to be able to share our experiences moving to China, living here in China, and traveling the world with our friends, family, and anyone else who wants to join us along too. Of course, that isn't to say that we don't wanna earn money on YouTube, but it's not the reason that we started this channel, and it won't be the reason that we stop producing content. These changes did massively kick us up the butt. Now, we love filming and we love creating content, but YouTube has always been secondary to our blog. However, we found these changes to be massively motivational for us because they are encouraging us to create more content and to post more frequently. So that's just our opinion on how these changes have affected us. Have these changes affected your channel? Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Remember, if you would like to support the channel, please give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe to follow along with our travels and living in China videos. But for now, see you next time. Bye.